Welcome to Peaceabilities. We are back here in CBRC.tv. I'm your host, Arman Benko. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Saan man kayo sa mundo nanonood. This is the new medium, the new TV, the new way of broadcasting. CBRC.tv, the virtual space of the future today. Almost a year ago na pala, 338 days since the last airing of our last episode of Peaceabilities here in CBRC.tv. Matagal-tagal na. Ha? Pero alam nyo ba, 954 days since March 15, 2020. Yan yung first day of the lockdown because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, from pandemic to endemic status na raw tayo daw. Uh, sana nga uh, magtuloy-tuloy na mag-improve itong sa health crisis. So, kamusta na? Kamusta na lalo na ang mga negosyo or kung papasok pa lang kayo sa negosyo? Our discussion tonight, GIP, Getting into Business Post-COVID-19 Pandemic. To help us in our show, we have in the show a graduate of uh, University of Asia and the Pacific with a Master of Science in Industrial Economics, Manager ng Franchise Strategy Consulting in Francorp, and an internationally certified business coach. A bed and brother of mine, Ju Bing Caparas. Coach Ju, welcome. Hey, Arman, brother. How are you? How are you? Good. Can't complain. <laughs> Can't complain. So, uh... Um, first time uh, na guest si uh, uh, Ju, but I, uh, among bedan na uh, brothers, we call him Bing uh, Kaparas. Pero for today, Coach Ju, ah, allow me to uh, uh, address you, Coach Ju uh, Bing. Ha? Um, matagal ko na po itong kinukulit noong uh, first year, second year pa lang ng uh, CBRC.TV ng Peaceabilities. Eh, Pinipilit ko na to very busy kasi sa dami ng uh, tinutulungan niya at uh, ginagawa niya sa kanyang mga uh, uh, endeavors or where he is uh, uh, connected with. Coach Ju, hindi tayo masyado nakapag-technical uh, test. Kapag naki- yung nakikita mo ngayon sa screen, meron dyan private chat, meron din comments dun sa far right. Dyan sa comments, yan yung comments mismo doon sa Facebook Live. Uh, mm-hmm. na nangyayari ngayon. So, kung gusto mong wow. ma-check, kung may nanonood, eh, yan, meron namang proof of life. May nanonood naman sa atin, Coach Ju. Ha? Yan. Uh, Coach Ju, steady ka lang muna. May papaalala lang kasi po. For our viewers, viewers, parang yun noon. Ha? Ganun pa rin. Just like before, share this Facebook Live on your own Facebook walls. Abangan nyo yung five keywords that will randomly come out. Yan eh manggagaling sa discussion namin ni Coach Ju. Take note of these five keywords and by the end of the program, text to 999 Birthday ko po yun, 0906. The five keywords. The five keywords should be in the correct order that it randomly came out. If you get correct the five keywords and you have shared this Facebook Live on your own Facebook walls, you can be one of the five winners that will get the prize. Ano yung prize natin? Simple lang, Coach Ju. 10,000! 10,000! Wow. We will send that through your GCash or PayMaya or Maya. So, in the number you will use to send your five keywords, include your name and your GCash or Maya account number. For those who will ask a question or share an opinion or comment, I will choose another five of the best comments who will also get price of 10,000. Huh? Dapat malaman-laman, malalim-lalim ang comment or question nyo. Huh? Uh, alam nyo, nung nakaraang mga taon, uh, pina-account ko nga, over 300,000 pesos worth of prices uh, ang napamigay dito ng uh, feasibility sa CBRC.tv. Natututo na kayo, pwede pa kayong manalo. And syempre, lagi kong binabanggit, uh, our program is not possible uh, if not for Dr. Carl Balita. Uh, thank you, Dr. Carl, for accommodating feasibilities again in here in CBRC.tv. Sobrang excited. Nagre-rehearse ako dito sa 
uh, program natin dahil uh, ito kasi si Coach Joe, si Bing Caparas, isa to sa mga scholarly students namin eh, nung uh, bata kami. Kaya naganda ako buong araw. Nakalimutan kong ikabit yung uh, charger ng laptop ko, Coach Joe. So, may namatay bigla lahat. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I, uh, my phone was uh, monitoring the monitoring the Facebook Live. Um, galing talaga ni Coach Joe. Tuloy-tuloy. The show must go on. Pasok pa rin. Hindi na aksaya ang oras ng, uh, ng airtime. Papaluin na lang ako ng technical nila, Dr. Carl Balita. Nandun pa naman ako sa portion na nagpapasalamat ako sa kanila. Uh, but at any rate, Coach Joe, uh, pasensya ka na ha. Uh, sa excitement ko, sa paghahanda ko uh, para dito sa programa natin, eh, nakalimutan ko all the, all the while that I was uh, preparing. Hindi ko pala nakasaksak tong uh, laptop ko. At any rate, Coach Ju, ano muna yung ano that organization that you are uh, uh, you belong to? Uh, I know oh. of Front Corp, uh, pero yung Action Coach na minsan napanood ko na ang session ng Action Coaching. All right, thank you for asking. My brother, Action Coach is um, internationally it's an international business coaching franchise. We're in 85 countries. We have uh, temp systems that works our objective is to help our goal is for every business owner a coach and we're in 85 countries we have our methods are tested and proven to work our ultimate goal is to help business owners to have an enterprise that works without you it's um, all the systems are in place so that you will work on your business not in your business oh wow, wow. um Every business owner can be a coach, you mentioned. Get um, our goal is for every business owner, there's a coach that would help. Ah, there's a coach. Yeah, yeah. Owner. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, Disclaimer lang, nakita ko po yung uh, uh, isang session ni Coach Ju. I was even surprised. Nandun yung isang feature namin ni, ni Dr. Carl Balita na uh, isang business owner. Yung uh, mobile car wash thing. Uh, right. And... Uh, he was telling me in private, he really attributed his step-by-step uh, -step doon sa uh, 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 pagiging uh, uh, under the program of uh, action coach. Action coach. Tama ba? That's right, Arman. There are over around a thousand of us that is internationally certified. All of us are coaching 18,000 business owners wow. every week. Wow. That's on a regular basis every week? That's right. And wow. I have 36 people who signed up wow. to, for me to mentor. And you'd be happy to know that we have a 17-week guarantee. That means if after 17 weeks, your bottom line did not increase by our coaching fees, we will coach you for free until we do so. And you'll be happy to know that no one has claimed that guarantee. Panalo. Wow, impressive. Well, <clears throat> isa yan sa bagong... Uh... Uh, pananaw sa pagpapatakbo ng negosyo. Eh, no? uh, dapat meron kang katabi kahit papano na mentor. Hindi naman araw-araw na uh, in the regular course of business, but uh, on a regular basis, meron kang uh, uh, natatakbuhan kahit papano to put you uh, ibalik ka ulit sa, uh, uh, sa path of uh, how to do things. No? So, That's right. uh, Coach Ju, uh, dalawa na apektohan uh, obviously ng pandemya no? our health uh, yung patlo pala our health, our business, economy and our way to so socialize uh, merong napalakas merong na, uh, napahina sa kalusugan, sa relasyon sa negosyo o sa ekonomiya doon lang muna tayo sa negosyo at ekonomiya uh, or specifically sa pagnenegosyo dahil uh, yung uh, socialization relationship sa ibang uh, programa yon uh, sa kalusugan lalo na sa ibang programa uh, ano ang before yung pinahanda alam ko very prepared lagi po si uh, coach Ju pero ano sa maalala mo yung uh, talagang naging epekto negatively nung dumating ang pandemya resulting to lockdowns and quarantines. Ano yung malaking uh, top of mind mo 
Uh, oh. I'm, I'm an optimistic person. Eh. I look at the bright side. So because of the pandemic, many blessings came in. We have fresher air, lesser traffic. We were able to make the most of our technology for we have meetings. Para kung Santa Claus, eh. I have meetings from all over the country, more productive. But on the negative side, merong thing. Well, maybe it's one way it breaks down families because we are not able to see each other as often as you want. Um, we takes a toll. There are 10 million Filipinos who are either unemployed or underemployed, and that wrecks someone's equilibrium, um, their dignity, because we are meant to work. Um, there are um, there are bad things that we tend to spend more than what we earn. So um, there are bad things, but let's focus on the good things. Yeah. Ano yung, nung, during the pandemic, tumatakbo na uh, uh, March, April, May, ano yung unang naman na nakita mo kagad na should be looked at and taken action uh, with uh, dahil dumating yung pandemya? Hmm. So, um, many factors that we have to look at and take action. But what is important is we have to test and measure everything. So, it's true. We have to separate what are the facts. Is that really a fact? And then check our numbers. If my friend, I, uh, if I tell you, Pariko, you are fat and too comfortable. Do you know what's the first thing that you have to do, Arman? Yeah. What? You have to That's go good. to the weighing scale and check because yeah. so yeah. you have to get the numbers because the numbers are the numbers. Numbers will not lie. So, Coach Ju, punta na tayo dun sa, sa uh, pinagandaan natin. No? Ano ang mabibigay mo doon sa mga current na negosyante? Of course, uh, just like your uh, uh, coaching, mentoring uh, uh, session takes 17 weeks or more, no? Uh, but in this 30-minute program, ano yung mabibigay mo uh, na top tips, advices doon sa currently merong negosyo, patapos na daw ang pandemya, marami pa rin uh, mga nangyayari sa paligid. Si Dr. Carl Balita was reminding me of uh, the term VUCA. I'm sure you're uh, you're very familiar, Coach Judy. Ba? Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous pa rin tong environment natin. Meron akong kasalukuyang negosyo. Uh, wag ko nang banggitin dahil alam ko po si Coach Ju, very, as he said na, very optimistic. Wag ko nang i-harp dun sa mga negative items. But with the VUCA environment, uncertainty, dun sa mga current na nagne-negosyo, ano ang gusto mong paalala sa kanila. Thank you, my friend. So I have three tips. Tip number one, if you want to increase the number of customers, you have to look at two variables. One is to increase the number of leads. And second is you have to look at their conversion rate. Let's define our terms. What is the leads? Uh, first is leads are those who, that's tip number one. As seen in the screen, tip number two, if you want to increase your revenues, you have to look at two things. First is to increase the number of transactions or how often they would buy from you and increase the average peso sale. The third tip I'll give to business owners are to increase your profit. You have to increase your profit margin. And how do you do that? You look at your cost of goods sold and you look at your operating expenses. Those are the top three tips. If you allow me, I'd like to give more details. So yeah, please, so. please, okay. please. So let's put some numbers. For example, in a typical kiosk, merong 4,000 leads. This is defined as those who saw your sign, who looked in, click the face, click Dumaan their, sa tindahan. Dumaan sa tindahan. Right. Pumasok sa store. Not all of them will buy from you, but a certain percentage of them do. And this, that is the conversion rate. In this example, there are 4,000 people who came in, who called, who inquired, and one out of four um, bought from you. That's the definition of the term. And in this hypothetical example, sabi natin every payday, bumibili siya. So two times a month. Mm -hmm. And when they buy, they spend an average of 1,000 pesos. And that will give us a revenue of 2 million given these numbers. And if you look at the margin, that means 75% are the cost 
25% is the profit. Um, 25% of 2 million, the, in this hypothetical example, it we will have a profit of half a million. So let's get into action. What we have are many strategies to increase of those. If we like, tip, as we recall, tip number one, how do we increase it? For, I have a client who sells book of pies. She sells it to distributors who then sells it to riders of this bus line in based in Neve Vizcaya. Every time the bus rider, the bus stops, the the distributor sells those book of pies. We had the strategy of 10 plus one. For every 10 book of pies, she will give one for free. And the result is amazing. Her revenues increased by 68%. So what if we lower our standards as babaan lang natin siya by 10%. So as you see, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have many strategies, one of which um, I will feel free to flash it in the screen. Yeah. Strategies to increase the leads. And I'll take one example, franchises. Um, we have over 300 strategies on how to increase each of those five ways. For example, um, I've helped many firms expand your franchising, and one of which is uh, pharma pharmacy. That officially makes me a drug pusher because I was helping them push for drugs. And wow, um, their ability—the best ability is their availability. If they open many branches, they, that will be a walking, talking example of um, their advertisement. People yeah. will see it. Yeah. Twenty-four hours. So that's one practical example of increasing lead generation. Now, what if we increase the conversion rate, which is we have many strategies to do so, one of which is use of testimonials and review. I have a coaching client. Anong That's sabihin right. testimonials, Coach Joe, for the oh, benefit of our audience? Ay, so sobrang saya nila that they write a favorable review or they put a video na how happy they are and um, I have one client, um, Dati Kostong Sajante. We went into coaching, and bef after that, um, before we went into, he sells air purifiers. His huh? annual sales is 15 million pesos a year. Nako, Arman, we, meant, we went into coaching. Our goal was to for his sales to increase by 60 million. And matutuwa ka. We exceeded that target, and he was so happy that he made a short video of his testimonial. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ganun, panalo. And Wonderful. now, that's one way to increase the conversion rate. Um, we have many other strategies. But what's important is we should have a conversation to see what works well for you. What would, What's the best strategy that would give you the best result, the easiest way to reach your goal? Now, if we go if in our other example, what if we increase our leads by just 10% of each of those? Increase by leads by 10%, increase conversion rate by 10%. The result would be amazing. You would see that the result will be more than 20% increase in mm -hmm. your number of customers. So in the previous example, before going into those strategies, ang customer natin is 1,000. Because of a 10% increase on in the leads and conversion rate, your number of customers would increase by more than 20%. So, you know, Arman, would you be happy if you know that you have 20% more customers? Of course. Of course. I am. But this would get more interesting. What we will have is if we look at the other ways to increase your profits by looking at increasing your revenue. If you move further from that, we can see that it would increase yeah. by 10 percent now if we for you to increase the number of revenues as mentioned earlier we have to look at two things one is the number of transactions and another is the average peso sale let's look at the average number of transactions how do we make them buy more often from you uh -huh, uh -huh. There are many strategies to do so one would be a reminder system na oi birthday mo pala pag bumili ka naman sa akin mga ganun. Others yeah. is yeah. to tell them that you need this. Um, we have many strategies to do so. So one possible strategy we can use is to offer new products. Before you only have this product, then you can have a viber community. 
and tell them that, oh, we are offering this product and tell them. Another, now, um, let's go to the easier one, the increase the average peso sale. Diba, mm -hmm. Armand, when you go to uh, fast food, you buy a burger, you would notice that the person in the counter sasabihin sa'yo, Sir, gusto mo ba ng fries with that? Yes, yes. Bumili ka ng drink, sasabihin sa'yo, Sir, gusto, pwede, gusto niyong i-upsize yung drink. Yes. Those are strategies to increase the average peso sale. Some bundle it from one meal to barcada meal at this price. So those are many strategies that we can use. And um, I have one, one interesting strategy is to train your team, constantly improve. Arman, if you remember your elementary or high school math, what is 5Q plus 5Q? 10Q? That's right. 10Q. Tama ka, pare ko. Galing mo daw yan. Kaya, I'm not sure kung nakakopya ako sa'yo during exams. Ikaw ang kinokopyaan namin eh. Ikaw ang kinokopyaan namin. So that's, yun ang gagawin ng customer, ng staff mo. When pumasok ang customer, they would look at them in the eye, they would smile and say, thank you. And that would increase the number of transactions that, that make them buy more often. So offering new products is one. Another strategy to increase the average peso sale is to train your team. So I have a client, um, pang, um, they specialize on massage parlor, na visually impaired. They visually help them impaired. through many branches. And for them to grow we have to train their visually impaired masures. So what we did is we did operations manual in in braille form, in audio format, para pumasa sila sa certification. At gayon, panalo. They deliver excellent service and they're able to expand. So train your team is one strategy to increase the average peso sale. Another, so if you look at the numbers, a 10% increase on the number of transactions and the 10% increase in the average peso sale, we will get a revenue of more than 40%. 40%? Eh, hindi mo naman pinaasan yung ng 40%, ah. Uh, if you increase the, um, ten, a 10% increase in the number of transactions, as you can see in the next slide. Ah, uh, ah. Uh -huh. Na, nako, magugulat ka. Now, on the next slide, your number of transactions from 2, increase it by 10%, it will be 2.2. Average uh -huh. peso sale, increase it by just 10%, tataas siya by um, 1,100. So all these little things that you do, uh, it will increase your revenue by 46%. Right. And that's uh, just a 10% increase. Coach Joe, um, what you're, what I'm getting, you know, uh, uh, the way I'm getting this, yes, hirap, yes, uncertain, pero meron mga pwedeng actions na gawin, maliit, malaki, uh, pag minsan involving the team, training, retooling the team, that can still help and uh, contribute to a sound and profitable business. Tama, tama ko bang sabihin yun? You are, uh, maybe we can put it an analogy. I'll ask you a question. You might know the answer to this. This is a gargantuan task. Malaking, it takes a lot of effort. Parang Hercules. How did the ant swallow the elephant? Nako! How did, naswallow ba niya? Yung elephant? Langgam? <laughs> Gusto mo maghula? Paano niya nagawa yun? Uh, tingnan natin dito sa mga comment section o yung mga nanonood. How did the ant swallow the elephant? Buo ba? Buong elephant? That's right. Buong elephant? Okay. Comment yung nga dyan. Mabilisan. Ha? Mabilisan. How did the ant swallow the whole elephant? Meron ba? Meron ba mga kapag-comment? I'll give you three more seconds. One, two, three. Wala eh. Coach Ju, paano naman na lunok ng... Uh, langgam yung elepante. Miskin na baby <laughs> elepante. <laughs> Ang sagot doon is one bite at a time. 
So little one, by little, one. no, puubos din yun. So ganun din, kung paano pa-increase ang revenue, little strategies that work, that you test and measure, at may meet natin yung goal. I teach in the graduate school, and some of my students are writing their graduate thesis. I ask them that question, paano mo masusulat buong thesis? One page at a time. In this movie, na Finding Nemo, di ba nahulog yung mass sa abyss? Just keep swimming at makakarating ka. Okay. All right. Uh, Coach Joe, bago tayo pumunta doon sa next uh, inanda nating uh, topic, uh, may iiwan ako sa yung hanging question. Na? Hanging question. Uh, karamihan sa mga negosyante at mga yung mga konting na e-expose din ako, malaki ang pagkakaiba ng revenue sa profit or yung benta sa kita. Manggaling na nga sa'yo, Uh, kung ano ang pinagkaiba nun. Yung iba kasi, akala nila, uy, ang daming parokyano, uy, ang daming benta. Okay, itong negosyo na to, magaya nga. Uh, not knowing, magkaiba ang benta sa kita. Revenue versus profit. Sasagutin po yan ni Coach Ju. So, may inimon ako sa yung hanging question. Uh, kasi lagi ko itong nakikita, uh, hindi naman ako nakakapag-mentoring masyado or nakakapag-coach ng isang negosyante like you. Pero marami ako na those that I have been exposed to, ang common na uh, nakikita kong uh, hindi nila na-appreciate, kaya nagkakaproblema, yung benta versus kita, revenue versus profit. Ano ba pinagkaiba, uh, Coach Ju? Sa'yo na nga manggaling. Ay, oh, sige. So, ang revenue ay lahat ng pera na pumasok sa negosyo mo. At ang um, profit ay... Anong natira sa iyo pagkatapos mo bayaran lahat ng bills mo? Yeah. Uh, bakit yung iba uh miski na uh, mahina ang benta, tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Hindi ba yun nang batayan lang? Depende sa goal natin eh. Kung ang negosyo natin is not for profit, ang profit is not your sole um, objective. Pero kailangan mo pa rin ng profit for that business to be an ongoing concern. Yes, But yes, it's not yes. your sole priority. Yes, yes. Karamihan sa atin, ang negosyo natin ay for profit. Uh-huh. Uh, well, for one kasi, uh, as you said, to sustain it, to keep it going, um, yung iba lang siguro, basta hindi malugi, no? maaaring mahina yung, be- yung benta, revenue, Nako-cover nga lahat yung expenses, minimal profit, uh, kaya siguro uh, kaya niya pang magtuloy-tuloy. No? Kaya importante din ang negosyo, nag-iipon, no? yung negosyo as a whole, kasi at times na mahina ang benta, yung ga- meron mga fixed na gastusin, liliit yung kita o baka mag-negative pa, uh, kaya importante may ipon din ang negosyo. Eh, no? Um, but... Um, kanya-kanyang objectives yun eh. So what, keep your eye in the price. Ano bang ultimate objective mo? Um, for me, as a business coach, I want my clients to have a commercial and profitable enterprise that would work without them. So that they would work in their business, on their business, not in their business. Ano ba pinagkaiba nun? On their business versus in their business? Okay, so if you, para kang Um, chairman of a group of company na pupunta ka, titingnan mo na lang oh, uh, how are the things are going meron kang manager that would work for you you're able to buy back your time you have the system in place the processes, procedures that would work even wala ka parang ikaw, pwede ka pang magbakasyon you'll spend time meaningful hours to people important to you and still, your business is operating and Um, at the, even if you're not there. Yan yung working on your business. That's right. Thinking of ano strategies, working planning. Working in your business. That you are, um, kunyari, birthday na anak mo, hindi ka makapunta kasi bukas ang tindahan. You are working in your business. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, kasama rin sa pa- pwedeng goal is dumating ako sa yugto ng negosyo ko na I'm just working on my business. Not That's the goal. Not any more working in the business. Tama ba? That's right. That can be uh, part of your uh, 
uh, uh, qualitative goals or objectives sa negosyo mo, no? Uh, Keep your well eye said. on the prize. Uh, eye on the prize. Coach Joe, paano naman dun sa... Kasi magde-December na, no? Uh, bear months. Laging sinasabi, miskin na nung pandemya, uh, height of the quarantines and lockdowns, uh, uh, it was proven. Pag bear months, pagdating ng December, magumpisa ka magnegosyo. Ha? Uh, maganda magumpisa ng negosyo kapag uh, bear months. Sabi naman nung iba, oh, wag mong gawing batayan yung bear months uh, bilang lakas o hina ng negosyo mo. Kasi uh, uh, seasonal or this season or having a season, a special season like the, the Christmas season, uh, is not an indicator of how your business will be for the rest of the year. But just the same, Marami eh, nag-uumpisa. Ano ba? Ano ba magandang pwedeng pagkakitaan? Mag- ngayon ako pumasok sa negosyo. Anong ma-advise mo? Uh, mabibigay mong tips sa kanila, reminders, doon sa mga gustong pumasok sa negosyo. I have three tips in mind, but I'll give you a bonus tip. One is to watch feasibilities. I've Oy! seen your previous Oy! episodes at marami kang tips on Oy! bagong negosyo. So tip number one, on top of that, is gumawa ka ng business plan. It should be written, hindi lang sa coconut mo, that nakalagay doon kung ano talaga yung ultimate goal mo, ano bang unique selling proposition mo, ano yung mga guarantees that you can give. And also, um, eto, the third tip would be think big and dream bigger. So maraming possibilities that you can do and uh, kailangan prudent lang eh. Uh, for example, a norms of prudence is you should not spend beyond your means. You have to manage your risk. Ang utang, uh, okay lang mga utang as long as it's put on a productive purposes. Hindi pwedeng like a revolver, ang utang pang sa ibang utang. Correct. Agree. 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 Uh, meron ka bang uh, kasalukuyan uh, startup na nag-undergo na ng action coaching session with you? Uh, without naming the person and the actual business, meron ba na yun? Usually, ang mga kinakoach ko ay existing business owners. So, ah, existing. Uh, yung, uh, I can help them formulate kung ano yung niche namin, kung ano yung um, what makes us unique. Kunyari, dentista na has a lot of skills. She can claim na if you maging kliente ka, ta, maging pasyente ka ta, Walang pain. That is a unique uh, guarantee that you can give na would give you a lot of clients. Others, kunyari may pizza, you guarantee na in 30 minutes, lib- um, na- nakadeliver na sa'yo or else it is free. So hindi yeah. pwedeng me too. You have to offer something na compelling, na unique, na na ma-address yung pain points. Kasi kung me too ka, pare-pareho lang kayo, um, we will not go far. Right. Um, kung pumunta ka Arman sa ano, food court, mapapansin mo doon na maraming, it's a perfectly competitive environment, ang dami nagtitenda. May napansin ka ba na may mahabang stalls, na maraming tila, may stalls na nilalangaw. Anong tingin mo ang pinakaiba ng stalls na panalo? Um... May kakaiba na inaalok, hindi lang uh, uh, barbecue tsaka fried rice, baka merong uh, uh, additional doon sa pagkain nila, or uh, baka may barker pa sila, uh, barker yung nagtatawag. Ano uh, ba? Ano sa- ay, tama. Ito uh, napulot ko sa'yo doon sa previous feasibility mo eh. It's that they know their customer and they give them what they want. So, yeah. Yeah. Kung nagtitinda ka ng, kung may, ikaw, vegetarian ka, pupunta ka sa vegetarian stall. Kung yeah. gusto mo ng burger, pupunta ka sa stall na nagtitinda ng burger. Pero kung mag-offer ka ng maraming bagay, Japanese, Chinese, Mexican, Italian, nadidistort eh. Yeah, so, yeah. Kailangan natin, it's cheaper to measure twice and cut once. Kailangan alam natin, sini market natin, take care of them, and service them well, and they will take care of you. Lahat ng customer uh, has power to fire a company president by not giving their good money to their service. Kaya kailangan alagaan natin sila. Ano yung sinabi mo? Uh, I want to pick it up. Cheaper to measure twice? Uh, pag, 
parang pag magpapatayo ka ng bahay, mas madali, mas mura kung maayos mo na yung blueprint bago mo hatiin yung uh, kahoy. Kasi pag mali, ay, marami kang tuition fees na babayaran. And we're here to make it easy for you to meet your goal. If your goal is to save time, if your goal is to have profits, if your goal is to mass, um, we are here to be of service to you. You can bounce off your... Uh, may nag-text dito sa akin, uh, kamag-anak ko eh, kamag-anak ko. Hindi doon sa, hindi siya nag-comment. Uh, pwede pa rin magpa-action coaching session sa iyo. Uh, meron na lang, hindi doon sa existing, sa business plan pa lang daw. Ayan, mag-usap tayo. We'll have a conversation. Titingnan natin ano yung mga pain points mo. What are your levels of dissatisfaction? And we will clarify your vision. Ano bang goal mo? And from there, uh, we will work together and take up strategies. So kung kailangan mo ng gumawa ng business plan, ang dami dyan na pwede nating ibigay. I have a lot of templates, systems na pwede kong i-share. Coach Ju, uh, meron na naman ako na pick up na isang uh, hindi na nila alam kung yun ang gagamitin ko sa five keywords. Nakaapat na five keywords na po tayo. Ha? Ano yung sinabi mong pain point or dissatisfaction level? Hmm, okay, so bawat tao merong um, level of dissatisfaction. Kunyari, you're working long hours. Ang dami ko nakausap na business owner, we're working more than 100 hours a week. And the ordinary worker works 40 hours a week eh. So, in economics, ang tawag natin doon ay trade-off. If you're here, you cannot be there. So, yeah. um, how can you... Um, and someone somewhere is suffering pag ganun. Either your physical health, your mental health, or you want to spend meaningful time to people important to you, hindi mo magawa kasi you're manning the store. So, may mga pain points. Alam mo ba, Armand, merong isang planeta sa solar system that has 25 hours a day. Alam mo, anong planeta yun? Really? Uh, Pluto? Ang answer, if you Google it, it's Mars. Mars? Mars? So if you, kung business owner ka and you feel 24 hours a day is not enough para <laughs> magawa mo yung mga dapat mong gawin in 24 hours, you have two choices. One, buka magnegosyo sa Mars, do 25 hours. Or, Mag-usap tayo at I can easily carve 300 hours a year for you to do whatever you like. Gusto matulog mas matagal, mag we can do at it. Magkawa yung mga iba pa na talagang mga hilig. Ano? Coach Ju, uh, is it alright uh, if I put you on the spot and ask for your contact details just in case uh, meron dyan mga negosyante that would need uh, action coaching uh, services? from uh, Coach Ju Caparas. So, um, you can, meron kayong katanungan, ang gawin nyo, isulat nyo. Tapos, padala nyo sa akin through email and I will promise I will answer it, I'll answer you individually. Yes. Uh, the email, uh, uh, Ryan, uh, our technical, nandyan ba sa'yo yung ano, uh, email address ni uh, Coach Ju? Coach Ju, ha, nagpaalam ako. Ha. If I flash ko yung uh, email uh, Ryan, do we have our... Uh, yan, yan, lumalabas na. So, meron po kayong katanungan. Uh, I can assure you, uh, ayan, sinabi nga rin on air, uh, Coach Ju Caparas will, uh, as promised, and I know he will, uh, answer you individually. So, uh, kung kulang itong comment section or nahihiya kayo, uh, sana lang yung uh, question nyo hindi na yung mga mabababaw na Coach Ju, ano pong magandang negosyo? Coach Ju, ano pong negosyo pwede ko sa 1,000 pesos? Yung medyo malalim-lalim. Lalo na kung kayo ay meron ng current running na negosyo. Uh, tama ba yun, uh, Coach Ju? Uh, kasi ay, yung, iba, yung iba kasi kung magtanong, parang uh, naghahanap ng miracle pill sa'yo eh, di ba? Na, uh, ito po pera ko, 1,000. Ano po pwede kong gawing umpisa ang negosyo or uh, ano ba magandang negosyo siguradong papatok ngayon uh, but uh, even if that seem to be an overused abused question coach Joe uh, that will be my last question to you actually kapag ikaw I... you are confronted ng mga ganung tanong 
Ano ho bang magandang siguradong kikitang negosyo? Sabihin nyo nga sa atin, coach kayo, di ba? Coach kayo, coach. Ano, paano mo sinasagot? Uh, uh, Una, you? Arman, my brother, the, uh, the only silly question is the one that was not asked. So, okay. and second is... Ah, ba- galing talaga ni coach nyo, ah. Ang bait, ah. Ang bait talaga, ah. <laughs> and the quality of um, your answer would depend on the quality of the question. If you ask quality questions, kunyari, how at my, my profit margin can I increase my profit, then you will get quality answers. Very good, very good. Yeah, very good. Coach Chu, you're uh, kapos tayo ng oras. Pasensya ka na, nagkaroon pa ako ng technical uh, problem ka kanina. Uh, baka kailangan mag-part 2. Uh, pag nag-part 2, eh, I'll make sure lahat nakakapit ang mga charger ko rito. Uh, but your last message sa uh, Coach Ju para sa aming Buena Manong Peaceabilities in CBRC.tv I'm happy I have someone who is very able, capable and uh, optimistic uh, guest, Coach Ju Caparas Your last message to our viewers Oh, um, two kung pwede, shout out to our batchmates Oh yeah! Um, in Sandeda Sandeda, batch and, 19 Okay, so maybe it's a relationship uh, Armand, and I'll Post this as a, for you. Do you know what's the difference between complete and finished? Wow. Ano, ano, Coach Ju? Ano? Hindi ko alam yun. It's like a relationship. Parang finding a partner. If you find the right partner, you are complete. But if you get the wrong partner, you are finished. Wow. And if you get the wrong partner na magastos, you are completely finished. So, all the best leaders, all the best athletes, all the best um, band has the best coaches. Why not you? Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Coach Ju. Ju, Bing, Kaparas, maraming salamat. My bed and brother, uh, isa po yan sa mga noon, syempre nung nag-aaral pa, uh, hindi naman talaga nagtitingala sa mga kaklase, pero yung bilib ka, isa po yan si uh, uh, back then, Bing, Bing, Kaparas, na Tinitingnan ko na bilib ako uh, nung sadyante kami uh, because of, hindi lang po dahil uh, matalino, magaling sa eskwela, but kung paano siya nakisalamuha sa amin, sa mga batch 90 ng uh, College of Arts and Science ng San Beda College. Uh, shout out sa, sa inyo. Bing, thank you very much. And uh, uh, sa ulitin, ako naman may uh, closing words. Kung handa si Ryan, uh, ito eh, because of the pandemic, or ngayon, patapos na pandemic, we still have to hope, H-O-P-E. Eh, yung hope po na yun, acronym yun. That stands for Hang On Pandemic Ends. All pandemic. Eh, ito, uh, patapos na nga tayo. Pero sa pagninegosyo, uh, I'm sure si Coach Ju will agree, sa pagninegosyo, hope, is not a strategy ha? sa pagnanegosyo. So, simple lang. Kailangan lang. Ito, laging pinaalala sa akin nung uh, na, uh, mayapa kong ama. Work as if everything depended on work. Pray as if everything depended on prayer. Peace of Unities every Mondays, 6 p.m. in CBRC.tv. I'm your host, Armand Benko. Hanggang sa susunod na lunes. Bye! Salamat! <laughs>